Hey guys, Steve Roberson here, founder of The Graduation Code. And today, I want to cater my message to those individuals that have gotten themselves off to a tremendous start in the semester. To those individuals that have hit the ground running and got themselves into a great position in which now they're sitting at about an A or B in the class. Hey, first of all, hey, gotta clap it up for you. Congratulations. I'm glad you guys have gotten off to such a great start. But I need you guys to remember that it's not over, okay? You've gotten yourself to this point, but now you got to work even harder, okay, to maintain this grade that you have in the class, okay? What do I mean by this, okay? A lot of people at this time, they get about halfway through the semester, they, they see themselves sitting at a good grade, and they kind of get complacent with themselves. They kind of uh, sit back and just uh, reminisce on the achievements that, they, that they've made throughout the semester so far. So then they lose that drive. They lose that, that fight, that hunger that they had at the beginning of the semester. And then what you see is at the end of the semester, they don't maintain that grade. And they're, and they're barely holding on to pass the class. Hey, I used to coach college football over at a local university out here, Sacramento State. And I've seen a lot of students come in, a lot of students go out. And I've seen students that have gotten off to this great start. And then about halfway through the semester, they kind of sit back and say, you know what? I think I can skip this class today. I think I got a good grade in the class. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, relax at the house and not even worry about it today. Or I've seen a lot of students say, you know what? I'm not even going to study for this quiz, or I'm not even going to do this assignment because I have some room, some wiggle room in the class. I need you guys to understand that you cannot take that mindset. Instead, you have to take the mindset that you are going to work even harder to maintain these grades so you can finish strong in the semester. I don't know if you guys seen uh, uh, the Super Bowl uh, back in the 90s. It was Super Bowl, I believe, Super Bowl 25. And it was against the Buffalo Bills and the Dallas Cowboys. And the Dallas Cowboys, they were, uh, they were on defense. Uh, Buffalo Bills were on offense. And this D lineman, uh, his name was uh, Leon Lett. And there was a sack on the quarterback. And Leon Lett, big old guy, he was at least about 6'3", 6'4", 300 plus pounds, came over and he just scooped up the, uh, the, the football. And he scoops up the football and he, he picks it up after the fumble and he just starts running with the ball. And he sees the end zone. And he's gotten off to a tremendous start with that, with that uh, fumble return. And he's about 50 yards uh, ahead of anybody else. Then all of a sudden there was this receiver for the Buffalo Bills. His name was Don Beebe. And he just comes running. And he's trying to get uh, Leon Lett and not let him score. And Leon Lett, he gets about to about the 35 and he's running hard. He gets about to the 25 and he's running hard. Then he gets about to the 15 and he's about 15 yards away from the end zone from scoring. And now let me remind you, this is a defensive lineman, 6'3", 6'4", 300 plus pounds. They don't get too many opportunities like this. And he has the ball in his hand, he's about 15 yards away, and he kind of just eases up. He just eases up a little bit. And as he eases up, okay, there's Don Beebe, he's running hard, still full sprint, trying to keep Leon Lett from getting into that end zone. And, and Leon Lett, he's about five yards away, and he starts to stretch out, getting ready to celebrate, has the ball in his right hand, and he's holding the ball out, and he's about four yards away, and Don Beebe's just closing in that ground. He gets about three yards away, and then Don Beebe's just closing in that ground. He gets about two yards away, Don Beebe's right there, he gets right there at the half goal line and Don Beebe comes to his right side and just kind of just smacks the ball out and that ball goes out the end zone and this big 6'3", 6'4", 300 pound D lineman Leon Lett just sits there and he's like just grabs his head and he kind of just looking like I know that just didn't just happen and if you take it even further he kind of became complacent because he thought, you know what, I got the football, I got the, I got, I got the ball in my hand, I'm all the way here, nobody's going to catch me, okay? Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and think about my celebration dance in the end zone and not finish all the way through and finish to his ultimate goal. So I want you guys to take this, uh, this analogy into play here, and I need you guys to understand that, hey, you got that ball in your hand and you're, and you're running towards that end zone. 
you've gotten, you already made a great play. You already got yourself in great position. Now I need you guys to finish. Finish. Don't ease up at the 15-yard line. Don't ease up at the 5-yard line. Don't ease up at the 2-yard line. Finish all the way through. Get all the way through that end zone. And then once you get there, celebrate. So finish all the way through the semester. And then once you get there, celebrate.